Okay, yeah. This is a really important one for me because like, as I was saying, when, when I founded Paranthropology Journal, I wanted to focus on those kind of more high strangeness kinds of, of things. And the Fortean approach provides a, a nice kind of method. It gives us a way of thinking about those without um, bracketing them out in the way that, that social sciences have tended to do in the past. And, and just make sure, so in case people don't know, quickly cover who Charles Fort was. And mm-hmm. He was um, a writer in the, kind of towards the tail end of the 19th century. And he wrote um, these four books, which were basically collections of all of these accounts of strange, unusual phenomena that he'd found documented in various scientific journals and newspapers and things. So he gathered all of these things together and he called them his uh, damned facts. These things that science has... <laughs> I'm sorry, your, your video cut out, so I'll use that opportunity to kind of interject and just yeah. weave in a couple examples. I mean, the raining frogs and, and this kind of stuff, which we can't get around the fact that this is documented. This is in the news that mm-hmm. we can correlate it with other news events. This seems to be an accurate reporting of what's going on at this time. And they said there was a solar eclipse, there was a solar eclipse. They said these these hordes invaded and they invaded and right along beside that they have, hey, you know, all yeah. these farmers out in the field observe the frogs, you know, flying from the soap. Why would we dismiss one account than another? And that was kind of Charles Fort saying, yeah, why would we? We can't. Let's just at least record these, right? Do you want to yeah. expound on that? Yeah, exactly. He's just saying that there's all of this stuff that happens out in the world that our scientific models have actively um, ignored for the past, you know, 200, 300 odd years. Um, he thinks that they've been pushed aside so that we, you know, for whatever reason, because they don't fit in with our established models or whatever. And really what he wants us to do is challenge science with all of this damned data to, to put it on the table again and also to encourage us to think about things in slightly different ways. So one of the things that I've taken most from Charles Fort is his idea of intermediatism, which is his kind of philosophical perspective on, on the nature of reality. I suppose you could, you could call it his um, ontology, really. And he says that everything kind of exists on a, a spectrum or kind of like on a sliding scale between realness on the one hand and unrealness on the other so that everything that exists in the world um, exists somewhere on this spectrum which basically means that anything that exists is not 100% real and it's not 100% unreal as well 